Hi class, welcome to the online session for general pathology. We are yet to discuss the two other adaptive responses. We have metaplasia and atrophy. So I'll just screen share. Okay, so we have squamous metaplasia. So for squamous metaplasia, we have this cervical tissue. When you say or talk about metaplasia, this would be a reversible change that would occur when there's a, a transformation of one cell type to another cell type. Usually this is due to uh, coping mechanism for stress. When we are going to look at the cervical tissue, we have two lining epithelium or epithelia rather that would be present. We have the mucosecreting columnar epithelium, which would line the endocervix. And then we have the ectocervix to be lined by stratified squamous epithelium. Now, where does the metaplasia come in? So, Usually, what we would see in the cervix would be what they call as squamous metaplasia, wherein there would be a transformation of the columnar epithelium to a stratified squamous epithelium. So this particular area can be what they call as the transformation zone. And this can occur in cases wherein there's a change in the acidic pH of the environment or it can be attributed to infection. So uh, this is squamous metaplasia. Another organ or tissue where squamous metaplasia can occur would be in the bronchus. So what would be li the lining epithelium of the bronchus? It's pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium uh, in the larger uh, bronchial tissues. So in uh, the event of, of a squamous metaplasia, this would be due to the presence of irritants like smoking. So smoking can cause metaplasia, that's squamous metaplasia. Another perfect example of metaplasia would occur in the esophagus. And this would be different from squamous epithelium because that's the lining epithelium of the esophagus, it becomes columnar. So that is an example of a Barrett esophagus, okay? So now we go to the myocardial atrophy. This is an example of uh, atrophy. Just make sure that I'm going to screen share for you. So what is atrophy? Atrophy would refer to a reduction in the size of the organ or tissue, and this is due to a decrease in the size and number of cells. It can be pathologic or physiologic. When you say physiologic, uh, this can be part of the growth and development, and we would see this one during fetal development or morphogenesis. On the other hand, if it's pathologic, then it means that something is going on that is not usual. And it can be a decrease in the workload, like our patients who have fractures, they tend to uh, not to use their extremities, so there's muscular atrophy. It can be attributed to a diminution in the blood supply. In our elderly patients, we take note of atherosclerosis in the vessels, in the meningeal vessels, or the cerebral vessels, it can cause the uh, atrophy of the brain. Inadequate nutrition. So we often encounter um, indigenous, uh, indigenous children who because of the lack of, of proper food, they tend to be smaller and they have very thin extremities. And then we have the loss of endocrine endocrine stimulation or if you're going outside of the Philippines sometimes they would say it as endocrine okay so loss of endocrine stimulation 
this can be a perfect example for this would be uh, menopausal period for women. Okay, so there would be atrophy of the uterus. And then lastly would be compression or pressure, which can be identified with the presence of a tumor. So if there's a tumor adjacent to the organ or so there's a tumor within the organ, it causes a, an atrophy, okay, because of the pressure of the impingement of the tissue. Okay, so let's go now to the slide because uh, I, I talked too much about the, the discussion in atrophy, okay, but I think that's a good thing. And so, so with atrophy, you notice uh, the myocytes to have thinner, thinner uh, uh, thickness, okay? Tama ba yan? Thinner thickness. They are, uh, they have uh, widths that are smaller than usual, okay? And then if you are going to compare that with the hypertrophy, uh, there would be, this would be thinner than that one. And notice the size of the nuclei. They are smaller. They are smaller. So uh, this is a perfect example of atrophy. Okay. So those are the slides that we have. I'm going to minima maximize myself again. Okay. So those are the slides that we have for this session. I hope that you learn a lot. And uh, so, okay. So I'll see you. Good day.